Hey, buddy. It's time to get up. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have enough sleep? <laughs> Are you ready to go? Yeah. Been waiting for a while, eh? Hey, Dad. Yeah. Time to get up. I would put the uh, green jacket that you had on that you slept in. You showed us your toothpaste. Yeah. And only because I'm clearly weaker and I need to cut weight as much as I possibly can, I'll show you mine. What's so, that? This is what you do when you really have to cut down on weight because every ounce counts. You stole your daughter's toothbrush. Well, I've got a man's size kit. You just never know when you need extra, right? Crest doesn't sponsor me, but I use Crest toothpaste. And we go like this. As everybody knows, it works really well. I don't care how much you bring with you folks. If you have to take extra, you can share it with the other guys. If they don't want it, well then, you know, always eat it, it tastes good. That's even good, that's enough for breakfast. Yeah, this is the uh, fourth day I've been in, but the second day of uh, climbing. But uh, we spent a whole day in our tent dealing with the snowstorm and the rain, wind. Today is absolutely amazing, but anyway, Keep trudging away, keep going up. Beautiful, eh, buddy? See the lake down there? Yeah. Nice, eh? There's one way, we're going in one direction. Okay. We gotta be really careful right now. Once we get up there, we're gonna be within sight of those rams we saw yesterday, possibly. So we can't, we can't go up and skyline ourselves. We gotta be really careful right now. Okay. Are they up there? No, I don't see them. We're gonna get to the airdrop today. Yeah. So you'll be able to eat as much as you want. Oh, well, I'm not worried about eating. I think you've got my pack and I've got yours. You got a pretty heavy load on there, buddy. When moving up mountains like this that are fairly broad and open, almost round, where there's very little cover, and at any minute, you know, you can have a sheep that's bedded down, and every step you take, you know, you've gotta have your head up, you know. You move 10 yards and you've opened up another 100 yards of terrain in front of you. And if you don't have your head up watching everywhere all the time, there's a really good chance that these sheep are gonna pick you up before you pick them up if they're up top there. It's very challenging when you have these big, broad, open mountains that you're trying to locate sheep and it's super important to, to just make sure that you've covered every inch before you keep moving. I know it's heavy. There's a lot of food in there. Now you get to eat again. It's loose. Ooh. Well, yeah, they never tend to make out 100% when you drop them from the air. There's Dad. He's got the other airdrop. Yeah, we got the second drop. But I uh, must have taken a heck of a bounce when I hit these rocks and then landed in the snow. About 20 pounds, I think, I'm guesstimating. Well, this is our lifeline, and now we've got, what, five days ahead of us of good eating. So we're off to a good start, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What do you think the elevation would be up here? I think the top of this is about 6,500. You've definitely done more elevation on this hunt than you have on any other sheep hunt. I guarantee you that. <laughs> I can tell you. I can feel it too. You know what I have to really notice? That 
once my legs get tired and I can't pick my feet up anymore, I have to sit down. I have to take that two or three minute break and I'm good to go. You know, but just, just the way it is, still a little ways to the top, eh? Yeah, we just gotta keep going. We just gotta be quiet once we get up here. Yeah. Because literally there could be sheep like right there. No more talking. Far to the top. Thought this was the top. Yeah, from down there it looked like this was the top, right? Mm -hmm. You know what they call that though? Mm -hmm. In mountaineering we call that the false summit. You're, you're climbing up and you think that you're getting to the top and then you, you get to where you thought the top was gonna be and you go look up and go, oh, there's more. So that's called the false summit. And so you know what I always do? I always keep in my mind that there's always gonna be one more. And before you know it, there isn't any more. And you're not disappointed. <laughs> it's kind of just a little mind trick that I play on myself. So maybe, uh, maybe try that next time. down by those sheep. The one, I think it's nine. It's a really pretty ram. I'm gonna talk to dad, see if he wants to take him. And then if he does, we're gonna go after him. I think you said yes. You ready to go, Colter? Yes, lay down. Hold 
Find him. I can't even see him. Okay, hold on. No, you don't have him. I'm pretty sure I hit him. Okay. Okay. I can see him right here. He's right, he's right there, isn't he? Yes. Okay, so let's get that right down. Are you ready? Yeah. Deep breath. Him, Dad. Uh, Just relax. He's still there. Get ready. Unreal. Unbelievable. He's still right there. You can see him? Uh, he just walked over the edge. Yeah, okay. You have to continue. It must be pulling instead of squeezing that trigger. Dad, you hit him. There's blood down there. your arms or anything no I'm fine your head is fine it's you got a big a big contusion yes it's not oh my god okay hey. not bleeding as bad as the other guy am I <laughs> he's bleeding worse than you are yeah he's, down. he's not down but he's going down no, you can't put it on. It takes more than a little bump in the head to keep a good man down. I'm up. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Not these kind of rocks. Oh my god, I love you. Sorry. I just kind of live too fast. And I know. I'm pushing and pushing and pushing. Oh, yeah, I am. You're an animal. I'm good to go, man. You. Are we going down there? Yeah. Let's do it. You're an animal. I'm an animal. Frank. I take a licking and keep on ticking. I'm like a time next watch. <laughs> well, I have a little story to tell, if nothing else. I fell on my face. But I didn't have my glasses on. <laughs> That's one good thing. Follow the blood trail? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I hit him with the first shot, you know You that? did. You yeah. did, you could hear it. Yeah. He's down, buddy. All oh, right on. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Give us a hug, buddy. We did her. We got her done. We came to do it, and we got her done. Love you guys. That's awesome. I'm okay, I'm okay. Just sit down. No, I'm not really serious. We need to get this down. 
I may be suffering a major concussion. I might need a helicopter ride out of here. <laughs> That's enough. It's not oh, enough, it's Dad. It's freezing. It goes away. It's a contusion. I've had them before. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's all I can handle of that. That freezing. We just got to get down there safe, that's all. I appreciate it. I thank you. No, I, we could be a lot worse, right? I could have broke a finger or something. <laughs> a finger, he says. We're good. It's a beautiful ram. Let's go have a look-see. Give me five. It's not easy to watch, I can tell you that. You think the girls will still like me though? I think one will. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably get some sympathy massages or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm sure I, I will. <laughs> She'll put a nice pack She's on your say, head. Are you stupid? That's what she's going to say. She will say that. Yeah. But then she will give you a nice oh, pack yeah. and she'll treat you and she'll well, dote on you like she does. She's my nurse and she's always been my nurse. She's nursed all her life, so one more casualty is nothing. <laughs> Come on, I want to get my hands on him. All right, Coulter's already almost there. <laughs> I can't even go. <laughs> this stuff you gotta really be careful, boy. So slippery. Take my time. Hey, Blue. He's the leader, leader of the pack. He's a good shot, Dad. Like he's a little bit low. A little bit low. I didn't want to spoil any meat, right? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm a little absolutely low. surprised that he went as far as he did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go have a look. Go put your hands on him. Come on, I want all of us here. Let's go. Look at that. Come on over, put your hands on him, buddy. Come on, Greg, get in here. Not to be thankful for, right? Okay, bud. <laughs> another good hunt, another successful hunt, eh, Colt? Ten-year-old ram, Dad. Yeah, he's beautiful, right? Look at him. Look at him. I'm proud of both of you. Yeah. He's amazing though, isn't he? He's, he's beautiful. He is. Wow. He's a, he's a sheep that of a life dream about. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> a little bit of a tradition with me, you know that? Because I respect my equipment. My equipment obviously respects me because look what we harvest, a beautiful animal. That was about as exciting as it gets. It was a whole lot of nothing going on other than climbing a mountain and then it switched like that. Drama time. Now I was pretty sure I hit him because you'd hear the, the thud, the sound of the bullet hitting It him. just happened so fast. It did. There was no waiting around, you were like, all business. Yeah. <laughs> the first shot you took, you hit him. Yeah. We knew you hit him. I didn't see any blood, and he walked away like he was like he was fine. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of odd because you certainly, you know, you heard the sound. We could see him wobbling though, eh? He, he started in the. And then you, and then you. That's a tough shot, dude. Missed a couple. A couple of what? A couple shots. I never miss. Look at this guy. Is there, is there three <laughs> holes in him? You know what shocks me? Normally it takes me one shot and it's over. But this, this, it was one shot and it was over, but we didn't realize that, right? Right. I'm thankful that obviously we have him, but I'm yeah. more thankful that you're not laying up there in a, mm. in a heap in the rocks. Like, look at this thing. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> is there any brain showing? <laughs> no, there's, there's not, no brain. There's nothing there to show. Show it. When I look back at my hockey days, this is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's been through it before. Yeah. I just want to say, you know, it um, gets kind of emotional when you think about it. Uh, I'm blessed to have a family. Greg grew up fishing, obviously, and then he moved on to hunting. He's evolved into likely one of the best hunters in the Yukon. I'll never say number one because somebody out there is going to say I'm wrong. So I'll say he's likely one, if not the best. Hunter. And here's Coulter, is my grandson, and he's uh, three years away from harvesting a sheep. And I just hope that uh, that day I'm, I'm able to take part in that. He's been here for the, my second hunt. Again, I, I'm so blessed and so thankful that uh, I can spend this time in the mountains with him. Something he'll always remember, and he'll always have the video to go back to over the years and show his grandchildren, his children, grandchildren. It's a really unique position to be in as a grandfather to be able to come and hunt with your family like this. And I always mention the camera guys, David and Carl, 
I respect you dearly and they, they've been so good to me and helpful. I got a team that uh, looks after me like they're babysitting. Colter carried my rifle for a whole day. I never booed once, never complained, did you buddy? No. Was it heavy? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, you are a giant of a man for a little guy. You are. Is that the last sheep punt? <laughs> Good question. When Nana sees me come home with this eggnog, she might say it's the last one. I don't know. You know, you play it one year at a time, but I'm not going to concede just yet. Who knows?